Okay, here is the most important beam of all, the mama beam. Whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Come on, babies. Some days we have hard days and some days we have easy days. But every day we are thankful that we chose this life. What are you doing? Getting ready to cut. Uh, the mother bean. The big mama. Some of these logs that we've they've been here over a year, I don't know how long, a year and a half. We'll have to check our YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um there were a couple of thin ones that did rot. Some yeah. got some type of beetle and some have cracked, which is to be expected. But I didn't have enough time to debug the mother beam, it's just been here. There's a few cracks, but it's all fine. It smells of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. It is a fungus. That's why I take it off. Turn it round so it's in the sun yeah. for a few days, you know, till I get it up. And dry out a bit. Like this. But I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the slower it dries, the tree, the better, better. it is. Pretty straight all the way to about here. Then it bends upwards. So somewhere here, bends to the left. I think I'm going to try and measure it before I actually put it up and cut it and have it ready and then hope it fits like a proper hot carpenter. So it's probably going to go wrong. <laughs> first things first, let's see exactly how long it is and how it's going to sit up there. Eight meters, four centimeters. It's not too bad. It's pretty much going down the middle, which is kind of good news. From the outer columns to the center point of the center column is about five meters. And then from there to the back is 228. So I've got like 72 difference. I think we've put an overhang of 50 on this side. So just to get a basic idea, 50 and then 228 from here 228 okay so this beam when it's up there, the top needs to be flat for planks of wood to go from one to the other beams that I'm going to put up later. So I'm going to have to mill it down as straight as I can. So I just want to see its orientation, which way I'm going to put it, how bent it is. So next measurement or um, experiment I want to do is to see the line from the bottom of where the mother beam will be sitting, so the top of this. To the back and to measure the distance from the top of the footing of the central column to where if it were a straight line how much that is and then I can measure the distance from a straight string of where it meets the middle column to there and I'll get the height of the middle column I think theoretically okay that's pretty good eh 
So this should be slightly higher. And this one should be slightly lower. Okay, so the first important measurement, we go to this one pretty much, is two, two, six, two, two, six. Let's write that down. Center of column, high. So 226, in an ideal world where the mother beam is dead straight, the distance without the, the, the spacer is 226. What are we going to do, do with you, Aunt Pepper? Uh, are you friends now? Hey. Hold this line, this line, look, yep. you see? It's, it's basically tied to the end on this side. Okay. Over there, you see it? Mm -hmm. So try to just make a straight line, in line with this. can see a 20 centimeter wide straight beam pretty much so the the marking is a bit done freehand you know but you can see where it is from here all along and this side so this is extra we're not going to cut it off obviously so this would be a straight beam and once i have that reference i know that the middles are going to be the same for the beginning and the end so now i know how high the central column will have to be. So if this is the center column here, I'm gonna cut it like a U and it fits inside. But if I do a, a string from there to there, that would be that string there. So I can measure this and it'll give me the height. Was not just yours or mine, it's for everyone on it to share. Let's not shortchange futures, we all share this planet, show kindness to everything and everyone here. My new office. Those lovely red berries that I was just harvesting, well, those are the seeds of our asparagus and they look lovely, but they are not delicious. I think they're toxic if you actually eat them. Now what I'm going to do is dry them out and in every berry, there's about four or five little asparagus seeds, which I can plant next year or give to friends. 
And the tune that I was just singing is a poem that I wrote for kids about taking care of the planet, because we all share it. I wrote 13 poems till now that I gave tunes to, and I started around two years ago with great plans of doing things with them. But I haven't done anything with them now, mainly because I feel like other people will judge me or make fun of me. I used to work with kids, so sharing them with children wouldn't have been scary at all, but sharing them with adults and on the internet is super scary. And why am I telling you this? Because I have decided to finally do something about it. And this is where I'm going to mention our sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. First of all, Skillshare, thank you very much for sponsoring us because it means the world to us to have your support. I just love taking classes on Skillshare. I have learned so much in these last couple of years. And I have improved myself greatly, I like to think. But for those of you who have never heard about Skillshare, they are the largest online learning community for creatives, just like you and me. They have a learn by doing approach to teaching where each member can create and share a project after completing a class. There are so many different courses to choose from. You are spoiled for choice when you join Skillshare. I always turn to Skillshare when I want to learn something new without ads, might I add, but also when I need a bit of confidence boost and guidance. And because right now I needed to up my confidence, I took a Lucy Lambrex course. I have done courses by her before and she has a brilliant series of courses called The Inner Critic. And sometimes my inner critic is very loud and she does stop me from doing things I really want to do. But some recent experiences that I have had have made me realize that I really need to be more confident in myself. And this class has helped me by pinpointing the problem and helping me work on it. And now, as funny as it might sound, I have a contract between me and Embarrassed Amber, so we respect each other more and listen to each other and work together as allies instead of enemies. But I won't tell you anymore. If you have someone just like me, Mr. Worried maybe, Miss Scared, Mr. Perfect, Mr. Judgy, Miss Fear, if someone out there, and that someone is you really, is stopping you from reaching your true potential, then go and check out this course. It has really helped me out. And I have even better news for you. For the first 500 people to use my link, we'll get access to one of Skillshare's best offers yet. I'm seeing here 30 days free and 40% off your first year of Skillshare membership. So what are you waiting for? Click on that link. You know you want to. Now let me go and pick up the pigs and Molly and maybe Timmy and I'm going to clear a bit of land where the new pig enclosure is going to go. <laughs> Papa! Hi! Oh my goodness, you're back! Where are you? Where are you, my lovely girl? So yesterday, I spent most of my time figuring out how I'm going to do this and didn't do any actual work. 
But today I have a friend coming, the owner of the trees, Ian. Some of you might remember him. And I think I know how we're going to do this. So. Now we can measure from all four points, yeah. so I can mark it down the line. Okay. Woo! Last spacer for the last column. Is it on? It's on the thing. Yeah. Now we can lift it up. Off the thing. Now I reckon we slide again so we come to the middle like this. Don't get on, go underneath it, yeah? Cool. Like Ready? Okay, epoxy.
Timmy. I'm coming. Timmy. Oh, you can get wet. <laughs> So much choice. <laughs> one. Ew, let's try and make a square one. So, two, one, three.
Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. A lot more lakes. Look how do you feel? You just broke the mother beam with your bucket. Like, and a, ba like a badass. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian just said he warned you, right? Yes, Ian warned me. Okay, just uh, to get it in right. Mother beam in pieces. Oh my goodness, we got such a fright. And now Luke is talking to Dirk to see what to do next. But as crazy as this might sound, this might have saved us a lot of problems later on. Do you want to know why? Well, join us next week to find out. And before I go, I would like to thank our patrons. Thank you very much, all of you, for all the support you give us. We appreciate it so very much. And a thank you to Nancy, an anonymous person, Alexandra and Kelly for adding to our pig enclosure fund. We are 70% of the way there, guys. So thank you very, very much. And you guys, thank you all for watching and have an awesome week ahead. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to learn a new skill, you know where to go. The link is in the description below. So thank you very much again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Bye, guys.